Welcome back. Hey, taking a break from the patch this week. Decided to go up, come up north and do some fishing. I had to come up and do a ceramic tile job in Gladwin, Michigan. And I thought, I got to do some fishing. So, hey, stay tuned. We have a nice video to show you today. Big fish. beautiful northern Michigan you got to check it out and we're heading out to the lake now me and uh, Knock Knock my friend Knock Knock Marshall Knock Knock we're headed out to do some fishing Come here, more. okay here we go hey yeah, yeah. Yay. Oh. So let me break the line to get you know what that's my map five yeah map five spinner the best lure you'll ever have yeah hammer handles we got to throw him back yeah but Bubba's catching hammer handles you got your uh Got your needles right behind that's you. That's a the northern bench. pike, and I'd like to make a video on northern pike. They are good to eat, they're bony, but if you catch them right away, immediately we cooked one the other night. I caught a 27 incher, and guess what? That thing was delicious and almost as good as walleye. Hillbilly lobster. I'm not afraid of no pike. Bad pike, bad pike. What you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> All right, man. Fishing uh, with Baba! First cast of the Here morning. Here we go, catch and release. Chip, who's the better fisherman? Let's see your catch, Gunther. Can I move my thumb so you can see it? Yes, please. All right. All right. Okay. Nice catch. Yeah, nice catch. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice yeah, job, that Gunther. Guy bit that thing right there. There you go. The worm's bigger than the fish. Can you spot the eagle in the tree? There's an eagle in the nest in that tree right there. I don't know if you can see it, it's at the very top of that pine tree, the one right in the center of the screen. To the left, top left, about three branches down, the eagle's sitting there. Tell me if you can see it. That is cool. American eagle. Well, I think he's an American, unless he just flew over from Canada. It could be a Canuck. Oh, I see his white head. There he is. Or is it a she? Another flipping pike. This is like number six or seven. I lost count. Bad pike, bad pike. What you gonna do when Bubba comes for you? This place is saturated. It's a little bit much. Is that bass instead of a pike? Praise the Lord. No more snakes or hammer handles. All right, let's catch some monster bass. Me and Gunther, we got smoked this morning because of the cold snap. There wasn't nothing hitting, so we came back out tonight. Check it out, Bubby. Yeah, oh that's a beaut. That's a hog, dude. That's a hog, baby. Yee-haw! All right, stay tuned. We're gonna catch some more. Got one. I got one. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Beautiful sunset, northern Michigan. Loving it. All right, back from the fishing trip. It's day 27 on the worm tomato, and I come home to find that. Uh, the biggest challenge with this for me is getting it positioned right, the hammock up and down. I notice that the stem looks a little stressed, kind of like on a pumpkin where the stem will start leaking because it's growing awkward. It's pushing itself up against the, the vines. So it has to be slid back. Well, the same thing with the tomato, I'm adjusting the tomato. So that's been the biggest challenge. Um, but I also want to explain to you guys the three biggest mistakes in giant pumpkin growing. Come August, is the top three mistakes are, first, I didn't use a stump cover, and I'm watering my stump. I keep dumping my water and nutrients at the stump, at the trunk, 
and that's a big pipeline now. It's August. It's a pipeline. The little roots aren't there. The little roots are way out. You don't need to water your stump. You need a stump cover because if you get heavy rains, your stump will rot. I've got several emails this week asking me why a stump cover, Bubba. All right. Pottery mildew. If you don't start pottery mildew preventives in early July, by now your plant may be white as a bed sheet with powdery mildew. That will take you down quickly. Once it gets going, you've got to start early maintenance, early cures to take care of that stuff. All right. And then thirdly, squash vine borer. I didn't take care of the squash vine borers and now they've invaded the plant. Okay, there's a little better look. Um, so there's your top three, squash vine borer, powdery mildew, watering the stump. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. I'll give you a couple more points here on the tomatoes. And then uh, that's it for the week. Fishing. Fishing. I had to break away and do some fishing, man. It was fun. I relaxed. I saw an eagle. It was cool. Cool beans, man. Cool beans. On day 27, it has a 23 and a half inch circumference. And I noticed that around here when I got home around this stem right here let me try to get in here a little bit closer it was a little bit funky starting to get the funky monkey so i sprayed everything down with hydrogen peroxide as you can see the dark areas they're tan they're not black we're not in trouble with that i don't it doesn't appear to have any bottom end rot so there you go um but i'm watching it i noticed that when i lifted it up there was stress on the stem so what i did is i took cable ties and I took cable ties and I brought the hammock up a little bit and it appears that I've relieved the stress off the stem. That seems to be my biggest challenge. And then I sprayed the plant down. I noticed some little black spotting on some of the trunks. So I sprayed it down with a light 2% hydrogen peroxide on all these stumps and I did the base down here. And then after I did that, I took some heritage fung fungicide. Heritage fungicide, it's very good stuff. I did a quarter teaspoon to a quart and sprayed the entire plant. I did the green pepper too. We're popping up some new green peppers. We're popping up new ones here. So there you go. That's where I'm at. It's August 21st on the big day 27 on the 10K tomato. Keep the pumpkins growing. If you got any questions, please comment below. All right. All right. Keep it a secret, but go tell a friend. Bob is sharing home and garden tips on YouTube.